Hey guys, what's up? We're back for another episode of What's Cooking. And tonight I am making a uh, pasta dish with mushrooms and chicken and goat cheese. Uh, so I'm gonna start by cooking up my chicken. I just have about a pound and a half of boneless skinless chicken breasts that I've trimmed of all the visible fat. I have a pan heating over medium heat with about two or three teaspoons of olive oil in it. And I also have my oven preheated to 350. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna brown these chicken breasts um, on each side. And that's not on, so let's try this again. There we go. Uh, we're gonna brown the chicken breast on each side. So a couple minutes per side, then I'm gonna cover it with a piece of foil and just stick it in the oven for about 20 minutes or so and that will cook it the rest of the way through because I'm gonna need to use that pan for the rest of my dish. So that will, the chicken will just get set aside once it is done cooking. So I've got my chicken in the pan. I'm just gonna cook it a little bit on each side, cover it with a piece of foil and throw this whole pan right in the oven after I flip them over. That's the one really awesome thing about a cast iron skillet. You can get it from stove to oven and it doesn't matter. So I use this thing a lot. It's fantastic. And if you don't have one, go get one. They're like 20 bucks at Target. Seriously, best investment I've ever made. So chicken's going and then once it's done, I'll be back to show you the rest of the pasta. Okay, so I've got my chicken out of the oven and I just set it aside. Um, I'm using the same pan that I had the chicken in and I've got two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of butter that is just about melted down. I've started my pot of water to cook my pasta. So I'm just gonna cook that according to the package directions. You can use any kind of pasta you want. I am using rotini tonight. So the butter is melted. I'm gonna pop all these mushrooms. This is 24 ounces of mushrooms into this pan. And I just thinly sliced them. And we're just gonna cook these down for about five to 10 minutes until they start to release some of their juices and until they start to shrink down in size. And then we're gonna add some more stuff to this pan to make a really yummy sauce. So once these cook down, I'll be back to show you some more. Okay, so my mushrooms have been cooking down for about 10 minutes. I've got eight ounces of my rotini pasta in the pot. That's just about done. Chopped up about six cups of spinach and I've diced up my chicken breasts from before. Did all that while the mushrooms were cooking. So the mushrooms are done. We're gonna add to the pan some garlic. I just add about two teaspoons of minced garlic. And then we're gonna add a third of a cup of white wine. And we're just gonna let that cook down for a little bit. Give it a couple of stirs there. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of heavy cream. So I've got that measured here. This is just the rest of what I used yesterday from the pumpkin pie French toast. So this is a half a cup of heavy cream. We're gonna add that in there. And stir it up. And then I'm gonna add in my spinach and my chicken. And I don't wanna cook it real long, just until the spinach starts to wilt and it just warms the chicken through again. It's still pretty warm, but um, it'll just warm it the rest of the way through. And we're gonna let that cook down. And then once the pasta is done, we're gonna drain that and add it to the pan. If you don't have a lot of liquid in your pan and you would like this to be a little more saucy, you can add some chicken broth. Um, and see, so just kind of play around with it. Totally up to you. After this cooks down a little bit, I'm gonna see how much sauce is in there, and if I need to add a little bit, I will. I'm also just gonna add a little bit of salt right about now, and then we're just gonna let this cook for a little bit. Probably, I'm guessing about five minutes, 
and then I will be back to show you how to put the rest of this together. Okay, so I've added my pasta to the pan and the spinach is cooked down and now I'm just going to finish this off. It's a decent amount of liquid still in the bottom, so I'm not going to add any chicken broth. Again, if you want more sauciness, go ahead and add some. I'd say up to a cup probably. Otherwise, you can leave it as it is. Um, I'm going to add now about a fourth of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And then I'm going to add six ounces of crumbled feta cheese and just stir that around to mix it. I don't really want it to melt all the way. So I'm just gonna stir it around to mix it all together. And then it's time to eat. Pretty easy dish, really, really yummy smelling, so I can't wait to dig in.